Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on approximations. Uh, GC, GCSC 91 type question. Um, it says um, uh, the value of t is given by all of that. Okay, and then it then says uh, without using a calculator and using suitable approximate values for the numbers in the formula, find an estimate for the value of t. Now, to earn the marks in this question, you must show the various stages of your working. So it's important to show your working. Right, and what I've done here, I've used, I'm going to use two methods here. Um, uh, the first method is uh, writing up. Okay, so I've assumed that if you're doing GCSC, especially if you're looking for um, a, a very high mark, you should know that uh, 2.31 is near enough to 2.5, and also that this, the square of 2.5 is 6.25. So 2.5 squared is, is sorry, 2.5 squared is 6.25. Okay, now next, this 0 0.9 e squared will be uh, 0 0.81. Okay, so now what I didn't do is, is to add my 6.25 to 0 0.81. Now that gives me a value of about 7. Now, because all of this, I'm looking for square root of the numerator. If I then um, approximate 7 to 9, because I know the square root of 9 is 3. Okay, if I approximate 7 to 9, I'm going to find the square root of 9. If I then look at the denominator, we know we assume that 2.31 is 2.5 if you if you remember so the numerator then becomes 2.5 times 10 because 9.81 i've made that 10 there so 2.5 times 10 will give me 25 so we're looking for the square root of 25 for, for the denominator that then means that this bit in brackets here then becomes the square root of 9 over 25 and the square root of 9 over 25 is the same as the square root is, is the same as 3 over 5. Right? So all this, all of that will then reduce to t is equal to 2 times 3 because I've made my pi, I've made pi uh, pi equals to 3 there, this pi that made pi equal to 3. Okay. Right, so that becomes t becomes 2 times 3 times 3 over 5. Now, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 18, 18 over 5. Okay, now that becomes 3 and 3 fifths, which is 3.6. So that's my first, uh, that's the answer for the writing up method. Okay, now method 2 will be rounding down. So what I've done is to say that 2.31 is approximately equal to 2. If I square 2, I get 4. Now, 0 0.9 squared, we know is 0 0.81. So if, if I make that approximately 1, so then that, so 2.31, the, the, the numerator, then becomes that the square root of 4 plus 1 which is square root of 5 so the numerator would approximate to the square root of 5 there now for denominator we assume that 2.31 is 2 okay so we then do 2 times 10 because i've made 9.81 equal to 10 there so 2 times 10 is 20 so for, for the denominator, we're looking for 
the square root of 20 there. And we know that 20 is 4 times 5. So we're looking for the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. Now the square root of 4 is 2. So now all of this, all of that, will then be this there. t is equal to 2 pi multiplied by the square root of 5 divided by 2 root 5. Now, the, the square root of 5 will cancel out. The 2's will cancel out. So you end up with t is equal to pi. And you can't get any more accurate than that. Okay? So t is approximately equal to 5. Sorry, equal to pi. Now, the, the in the max game, it says t has got to have values between 3 and 4. So that's less than 4 and, and also greater than 3 and that's greater than 3 and less than 4. Now if you do this by calculator you end up with t is equal to 3.27. So we, we, we're done with near as possible as you can get. So that's a better result I think. Okay. Now I do hope all that uh, made some sense and please, please subscribe and thank you for watching and bye-bye now. Bye-bye.